What is up, guys? It's been a long ass time since I made a video, and today's hopefully a good one. We're gonna be looking at this 2004 LTZ 400 that I picked up for $750. That's pretty cheap for one of these things. All it needs is a timing chain and a timing chain guide, and I have the two parts right here. We're gonna work on installing that today. We're gonna do the valve clearances too. So this is gonna be a good one. Let's get freaking started, boys. All right guys, so there's no coolant in the oil, no oil in the coolant. So the head gasket's probably good, head's not cracked. Yeah, we only have one problem uh, and that bolt, the drain bolt for the coolant was stripped. I have another bolt here. This is a 10 mil, but it's still an M6 thread, same length. And I have a crush washer that's it's for a DRZ. We'll use it for the uh, LTZ because they're the same engine and it does the same thing. It's a crush washer. All right, let's take this thing apart. I'm gonna time lapse it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the valve cover off, the cam chain tensioner off, and I'm going to take the side cover off. And that should be all we need uh, for right now. I do want to check the valve clearances and if they're off, we'll tackle those right now. So we got the valve cover off, cam chain tensioner off, uh, and the clutch cover off. I have concluded that the engine itself has, has definitely never been taken apart. If you look inside, it's mega clean. Like probably one of the cleanest, if not the cleanest heads that I've ever seen on a used bike. I'm really, really, really pumped about this. Like this alone is a thousand bucks. And looking in here, there's no weird wear that I can see. There's no grooves. Now I don't know if that's a new clutch. It might be. But yeah, everything in this bottom end to me right now looks really, really Looks really, really nice. Yeah, let's pop this clutch off and we will uh, then start doing the timing chain. Clutch is off. I managed to take this gear off here, get the uh, old timing chain guide out of there. New one's right there. I oiled it up. Just I wanted to have some lubrication on it when I put the new chain in. I'm just having a quick look here and I, I'm gonna be able to sneak that chain around this gear. Everyone's taking this gear off here, but I don't really see why that's necessary. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I gotta get these uh, cams out. I'm gonna do the, the uh, valve clearances too right now as well, just to get that out of the way. I'll get back to you when I have that uh, all set up and ready to go. Okay, goodbye. All right, so I got my valve clearances done. The intake was super, super tight. So basically this thing had terrible compression because that intake valve, this one here, was always open. So this thing probably ran like crap and that's why buddy sold it. Those are all fine now. The valve clearances are done. I got the time chain out. Didn't even have to remove that primary gear, which is awesome because I didn't want to have to take the other side of the engine apart. Not because it's hard, but because I'm lazy. But I just want to compare this old one. See how badly it's stretched compared to the brand new one. Honestly, it is stretched, but it's not actually that badly stretched. Anyway, I'm going to pop this new one in. Yeah, let's get to it. So I don't know if you guys caught that there, but on that uh, time lapse, I put this clutch together and I made a mistake and you should be careful not to make this mistake too. There's a washer that goes behind the nut for the clutch basket and you're supposed to, to bend it over the nut so the nut can't uh, loosen itself because that would be kind of terrible and catastrophic if that came apart. I didn't bend that washer over the nut, so I'm going to have to take this apart and, uh, and do that. It's not a big deal, but just be careful that you don't, uh, you know, you don't do that yourself. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's get that clutch fixed. Uh, pressure plates back on so that's done we got our gasket in the mail is coming sometime soon i'm gonna put the 
catch can back in the plastics i've got none of the hardware for the plastics um, so i'll have to figure that out but the first step is getting it running let's get the catch can back in and then when the gasket arrives we'll get the clutch cover back on and then yeah see if she rips Boo. been about three weeks and here we have our new gasket and some new grips which i think are a very well needed addition to this quad yuck So these are the ODI Rogue ATV grips, and I got the 120 mil version versus the 130. And I think that works perfectly for this quad. I filled the oil, forgot to film doing that, I'm sorry guys. But yeah, I think it's time we see if this thing starts. Only gonna do it for a second if it does start, because it's like 11 p.m. All right, let me set up the camera. We'll see if it uh, starts up. <laughs> 